What's up? This is Carl, and I got some more cards to go through that I got in. So, for this first lot, I actually went through, checked the condition, so I pretty much know what's in the lot. Pulled a couple cards that are damaged, I'll show you those as well. So, start off basketball and football game using autographs, and there's some serial numbered as well. Start off with a uh, Ion Auto. Oops, dropped it. <laughs> Here's an Eric Murphy Elite. It's numbered out of 599. Next, we got Kim English Auto. Now here's a nice one, Alan Crab, totally certified. Nice auto there. So Mike Scott, marquee auto. Next an elite, Andrew Nicholson. Fournier auto. That's elite. I'm gonna try to focus this a little bit better for y'all. There we go. So Darius Morris Elite. Perry Jones Auto. It's a Quincy and Quincy AC Auto. An aggressive rebounder. It's a contenders. Let me fix my pile real quick here. Another Kim English. This one's from Elite. <laughs> There's another uh, OKC. We had the Perry Jones. Here's a Liggins. I don't even know if he's in the NBA anymore. Quincy Miller. Another elite. Seems like the guy I got these from must have busted a, at least a couple elite boxes. Here's a, a Bismack Biombo. Totally certified. Neat card. He's a good shot blocker. Some card I was excited to see. John Henson getting more playing time now that Sanders isn't on the team. Here's a nice one. Myers Leonard, Marquis. Nice rookie card there. Here's a Donruss Corey Jefferson auto. Cool looking card. Remember Byron Mullins? a couple years ago. He was still in the league. Moved around. I think he was last on the Clippers. I don't know if anyone else had him. Next we got Tyler Harvey. I'll have to look him up. I'm not too familiar with him, but it's a cool looking card. Numbered out of 99. Prestige 1516 NBA Passport. So that's a cool card. Here's a nice out of 25. We're moving into football, Taj Boyd. Nice one color patch, it's a white patch. Logan Thomas, out of 99. Neat card from, uh, is that Sterling? Yep, Holman Sterling. It's another Sterling of uh, Connor Shaw. Got some playing time last season toward the end of the season. Yep, here's a Jenkins. I get his autos somewhat regularly, as well as his game use stuff. Next, we have a Burst Select Auto. Not too familiar with him. I'll have to look him up too. Next, we have Jordan Lynch, undrafted running back. Had crazy stats. Was it Indiana or Illinois? Um, Northern Illinois, that's right. Finally, as far as autographs, Desmond Trufant, cornerback. He's had multiple interceptions. Now he's an active player. So those are the autos. Nothing huge, but there was some nice stuff. There were some damaged cards, as mentioned, so I'm going to go through those real quick. Kind of sucks because Tony Snell, I like watching him. It would have been cool if Utah Jazz would have drafted him, but they didn't. Remember his year when they ended up trading the pick and they picked up Gobert. They had Trey Burke and Rudy Gobert. Darren Williams, serial numbered, has a little damage. 
This card it would have been nice if it wasn't damaged, but on the front here, see, Derek Fisher, right? But then you flip it over, see so a numbered. Show you here, nine out of ten would have been nice to uh, could have definitely sold that on eBay. Finally, out of uh, 150, Bowman Chrome, Joe Maurer, was popular a couple years ago, maybe a decade when he was hitting for average. Let's uh, do the serial number next. There's not a ton of them, but uh, be a nice break before we get into the game used, and there's some nice stuff. So we got a Bowman Chrome, Marcakis. It should be out of 150 as well. Let's see. Yep, 76 out of 150. Next, we got a uh, John Lester. That's out of 499. Next, we got a Denard rookie. It's a select. Yep. Another select of uh, Chris Johnson. Next we got uh, Justin Gilbert. This is a certified. See there's a little bit of glare here for some reason. Let's see if I can fix this focus a little bit more. There we go. Sometimes smooth focus for some reason. Out of 50, Kelvin Pryor. Cool card. Of course Bowman Sterling. Here's a, uh, this is a colorful card. Let me look this dude up real quick. Yeah, he was drafted around seven. I've never heard of him, but uh, it's a select card. Cool looking card, right? Next, we got a Jarvis Landry certified at 249. Then we got a select card, Jordan Lynch. I'm gonna put these at an angle so we don't get that glare. It's getting a little bit late here. It's numbered out of 50. So I apologize for the glare. Hopefully it's not too annoying. Here's a Buchanan, 2014 certified. Here's a cool one out of 100 it's from uh, 2014 certified. Aaron Murray, great collegiate quarterback. I have another cool card here. Jeremy Hill out of 99 rookie. Definitely a card to put aside. Out of 100, Larry Fitzgerald certified. Some nice certified cards here coming up. So Kaepernick certified. That's out of 100. Here's a uh, out of 249 Roethlisberger. Nice card. And we've got uh, Lewis Nix the third. Let's see if he was drafted. Yep, round three. Not familiar with him. Finally, we got a uh, numbered four out of 149, Jalen Saunders. Cool. So let's, there's some cool uh, game news in this lot. We'll go through those and then I got piles of other stuff. So first off, Byron Scott. It's a nice game used card, totally certified. Next we got a uh, totally certified Brooke Lopez. Let me move this pile out of the way so I can show this card properly. It's numbered, uh, let's see here. 72 out of 99. Next we got number 2 out of 199. Jose Calderon. Next out of 99. Another Brooke Lopez. Here's the next card's numbered 1 out of 99. So that's cool. Show you the back first. 1 out of 99. It's a warrior. It's not, it's not Thompson. Not even Iguodala. It is Andrew Bogut. So it's still cool. Here's a patch card. Two color patch, nice Chris Bosch on the back. This is five players. You got Morning and a Reefer Alston. Here's a John up next. And we got a fan favorite up next. Throwback Threads, Manute Bull. Remember the game where he shot threes and they went in? That was pretty awesome. It was a nice card, Patrick Ewing. No problem moving that one. Next we got Rishon Holmes. I'm not familiar with him. 76er says here. Here's a Tony Snell game used. Next, this is cool. Cameron Payne. Now we have some, uh, this guy evidently 
had or purchased a uh, OJ Mayo PC. This is number 34 out of 50. It's a nice prime cuts. Mostly a two colored patch. You see a third color, a dark color right in the corner there. Nice card. Here's another nice patch, number 9 out of 25, OJ Mayo. Uh oh, sirens. Next, yet another patch, number 2 out of 25, you guessed it, OJ Mayo. No complaints here. This is a crazy patch coming up next. It's uh, four pieces of patch. Got two color, two color, two color, two color. I guess more like one color if you don't count the jersey as patch, but numbered out of, I believe, 50, right? Three out of 50, Marvin Williams. This guy has sent me Marvin Williams stuff before, but this is a nice card. It could be a bench warmer. It's still a nice card with all those colors. Back to football, Terrence West, dual rookie game used. Next, we have a Taj Boyd. We had that nice auto patch. Here's a dual game used. Next we have Tom Savage. And after that got a uh, Roddy White numbered 70 out of 75. Nice looking card. And finally we got a select card. Here we go. And I got uh, two cards I got off of uh this is from a different deal. I just bought them from somebody. There's two different cards. Just open it up here. Throw this over here. Too cool. We got a uh, Allen Robinson tops. It's not his rookie, but it's still a cool looking uh autograph card. Haven't even checked the condition on these ones. I'll have to do that. And uh I'm gonna try to pronounce his name. I know he had a great year with lots of sacks. Ezekiel Ansa. Something like that. Nice auto. I had mentioned in another video I had from the big deal I did. Some basketball. I'll do that in a separate video just so I don't make it confusing. I'm going to go fetch a couple other cards real quick that I have that I've looked through as far as condition goes. But I haven't really looked at them. I'm going to sit down here. I bought some cards from a guy. Some random stuff. He gave me a good deal. He gave me an offer which was fair offer, I counter offered them. Bit of a lowered price, we made an agreement, so I got a really good deal on these. Um, I'll go through those next. There's some graded first. Here's one that's a little bit damaged. It's it's, it's, a, it's the case that's damaged on the corner, some chipping. First we got this uh, Sammy Sosa, 7.5, back graded. There's a little chipping on the bottom here. Next we got a Chris Wanky, BGS9, 9 Santana Moss, BGS9, there's some nice graded in here, that'll be coming up in a moment. This is kind of like the lower end stuff. Here's a Chad Pennington, graded 9, I've actually moved some of his stuff recently, so he still has some fans. Next we got a RJ Soward, PSA 10. That goes in the junk pile. Here's the cool. I always like these. 86 design. Got a Galarraga 7.5. Next we have Palmero graded 7 by BGS rookie from Donruss 87. And we got this card. I look at it. And the condition isn't that bad. It's shocking that it's just a 5. I love this card. Great card. It's a Conseco. I think it should be more like a six and a half. And then we got a Kevin Brown, graded eight, 87 Donruss, lower end stuff. Here's, you know, kind of like the better cards of the lot. PSA eight, Brett Favre, upper deck rookie. Nice throw in from the guy. Finally, a nice Marcus Allen, graded 88 by uh, SGC. I believe this is his rookie, so yeah, 83 Marcus Allen. Yeah, this is, I'm pretty sure it's his rookie, because back in that day, you would never have a you know rookie card out of someone directly out of college. They usually played a year first. And here's some other stuff I got. Um, I actually went through these, and there's some stuff that's a little damaged. I can show you that later, but here's the stuff that uh, wasn't damaged. So we got a nice Tony Gwynn here, Fleer, 
from uh, 83. I believe that's his rookie. Here's a vintage Pete Rose. Of course, there's some damage. It's a miscut, but uh, I dropped it. Good thing it's in a case. Definitely be easy to move this. The condition isn't too bad. I mean, it's a little bit of damage, but it's a 71. It's condition sensitive. Here's a nice Reggie Jackson from 73. This one's actually in pretty solid shape. There's a little bit of corner damage and fuzzing. Okay, now here's all the newer stuff. So here's a nice Rip Hamilton Auto. Put this here. Okay, there's some stuff that's better than others, but uh, here's the Hardway, Tim Hardway. Game used from uh, Upper Deck Slam. Here's a nice KG. There's a lot of these NBA warm-ups from Upper Deck. Here's a Kenyon Martin, same set. And we got one of uh, Keon Doolin. And we got some floor cards. We got Jason Williams. We got a Ray Allen. These are from SP Game Floor Edition. You know, this is one of those sets that you, I remember when it came out. It was so cool. Here's a Mike Miller. Here's a Peja. Just one of those sets that makes you happy. Reminds you when you were younger. Here's a Brunel. I mainly got this because there's some nice baseball. Actually, there's some nice football autographs coming up, too. Here's a Priest Holmes. Unfortunately, a couple of the nice autographs had some damage. So, Jamal Anderson. The ball card. Next we have uh, <laughs> James Jackson. that will be going in the junk pile. Here's a uh, Marshall Falk. And that was from a yeah, Upper Deck Game Gear. Here's some Absolute Commons. Is that Freddie Mitchell? And we got Anthony Thomas. Same set. And finally Yvon Barlow. Now, here's kind of like one of the crown jewels, if you will, even though it's, you know, it's a nice card, but it's not, you know, cornerstone of a collection, but I think it's cool. Nice Brian Urlacher. Probably end up selling this on eBay. They've been going for around $48, $49. The last three is pretty consistent. People are doing buy it now. Nice Mel Blunt. Steelers great. This will be simple to move. Great design. Then we have some uh, baseball game used. Nice Chipper Jones bat card. Next we got a Don Baylor. A lot of uh, retired game used, as you will see. Bill Russell. Looks like the glare has kind of gone away, so that's cool. Here's a Maglio Ordonez. Some, yeah, Kevin Brown, nothing special. Here's a cool Raleigh Fingers. It's a Milwaukee jersey, so it looks really cool. Blue, that's a cool blue color, I think. Okay, some lower end, Juan Gonzalez. Next, we got Tim Hudson. Next card is probably the second best card as far as value goes. Shocked by how much these went for, I didn't think. Adrian Beltre. I saw a PSA 8 on eBay and it was over $50 and this one's in nice shape so I'll probably ask for around the same. Should sell. Here's the Matt Williams. Gary Sheffield. Then we got some lower end. I'll go through these real quick. What do we got here? Henry Rodriguez. Next, Ismael Valdez. Cool looking card though. Next, another one <laughs> of Valdez. Next we have uh, Aaron Boone. People always snatch up the Brett Boone, Aaron Boone, all those from me. I don't know why, people seem to collect them. Here's a Brian Rose. And this is a cool, I have a bunch of these from this set. Going to assume he took the superstars out, but there's some solid guys. Orlando Cepeda, these are Upper Deck Hall of Famers from 2001. Next we got Robin Yacht. Followed by, this is Joe Morgan, right? Yep, Joe Morgan. 
Sorry, they're sticking. I have some uh, holders that are gently a little sticky. Next, we got a uh, Willie Stargell. Perhaps next two are the two most popular. Nobody crazy, but we got a Reggie Jackson, followed by Johnny Bench. And next, we have a uh, Russell Brannion autograph card. I always like this set. I think I have a Fercal up from this set as well, and somebody traded for it, I do believe. And finally, Edgar Martinez, and there are some damage cards. I'll bring those over right now and go through those real quick. All right, we got some damaged stuff. This is the really damaged stuff that I sell really cheap. Nephi Perez, so that obviously has some damage on it. Let me see where it's at. Uh, oh yeah, pretty chipped corner right here. Finally, we got a. I'll have to check to see why. I put this in the super damaged compartment. Uh, well, yeah, there's some damage on there, so I'm gonna get out of the way because it's Sean Green. Here's some other stuff. This is from a different lot, so I'll move this out of the way. Here's a uh, Mark Grudzelanik. These are the ones with damage. Tony Perez from that set. I was kind of bummed this had damage. Billy Williams. Next is a cool looking Randy Johnson. Has a bit of damage. Then there was a uh, another Ordonez. This one had some damage. Bum, these ones were damaged too because these were cool cards. Jay Novacek. And finally, William Refrigerator Perry had some damage on the back, I believe. Yeah, just some bad corners. The set does seem to be condition sensitive. Then we have a, a Testaverde Curtis Martin. Had some damage. Travis Minor. We had a Jerry Stackhouse followed by floor card of Jason Kidd. And then there was another floor card, Jason Kidd. Had some damage to it. Then this morning it had very little damage. It was in a holder, a screw down holder, and I pulled it out. If you can see around the ball, there's some they pull off the red. So and finally this Brian Quick card. I believe I got this from this lot. Maybe I didn't. Oh no, I got this from a different lot, from a different dude. It was that. And this Andre Miller. So that's that lot. And let's see. I'm sure I can find some other stuff to uh, go through. So thank you for watching. I'll make some more videos soon. Have a great day. Bye.